果车子呃再来检查三检，如果正常的话，就是我们就是把呃出入口就是一直，我们就是上路。呃，三五二上面两个出入口，在后面就是拉垃圾桶打扫。像我们一车子，大约时间就是要了两小时左右。I like this film because it shows us a solution rather than a problem. I've been an advocate of using scrubbed incinerators to burn garbage and make electricity for years. Two birds with one stone. I'm glad to see someone other than Sweden actually doing it. Opening is vivid and disturbing because the mounds and mounds of garbage is just, it makes you feel uh, guilty as a person that we're creating so much pollution and garbage in our world. And to look to China that has such a large population uh, and is known as the Garden City, um, to see what they're doing, they're trying to make a change, and to look to other countries to see what they're doing and come together as a solution. Uh, I found there's a lot of hope in this documentary. Uh, I thought it was very well done. I thought she got some really cool be scenes that were like inside the factories, and I'm, I was impressed that she got to get that kind of access. So kudos for that. I, I thought that the end was really cool, how she went between the pollution and the people dancing in the streets and the positivity at the end of the people that live, live there and have to deal with all the pollution. And it was really cool to see different recycling systems that are out there and what kind of incentives worked on, on making people feel motivated and engaged in recycling. And I think my favorite part was approaching the topic from the garbage truck driver's perspective um, and kind of following it, following the story along from, from his point of view. Uh, and I think at the end when he was talking about uh, feeling like he's part of something bigger and like working to pay for his son's education, I thought that was a really nice parallelism between building a better world just for, for the earth and everyone on it in general, but also for his individual family. So I, I thought that was very nice. I, I thought this was a really compelling short film. It's... Um... It's a, it, it covers a very important um, subject, like now more than ever, and it's, it's really inspiring. I, I feel like a lot of it is, you know, it, it can be very depressing and like very sad and like uh, following like the garbage man and like his life. Now he doesn't really get to see his family, but he feels um, slightly re rewarded by the work that he's doing is, is good. And it's kind of like it, it's a an optimistic um, view going forward, which I, I feel like is what the filmmaker was go, uh, going for, which was cool, and it, I, I feel like they accomplished that. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's balanced so much with the, like, uh, kind of unfortunate truths of everything and the bleak reality of, of where the world is, excuse me, uh, right now, and... Um, yeah, I, I feel like this piece uh, presents a lot to think about for the viewer, so great it's job. So inspiring, it totally caught me off guard, especially since the beginning shots started with seeing how much garbage and how much um, recycled materials just end up being in landfills and things like that. I thought this was actually going to be really depressing, but it ended up being super uplifting and insightful. Like, I had no idea that, um, you know, by getting a community um, such as the one shown here, I can't pronounce it, but um, to specify the recyclables and then get rewards for that, like free groceries and other necessities, that's so cool and just shows how possible it is in, you know, places where the air used to be so bad for it to just clear up and give the people there a better quality of life. I'm a huge advocate for um, saving the environment, so it was really inspiring. This is definitely one of my favorites. So I agree wholeheartedly with the message within the search of a better world. Um, we as humans are very wasteful. 230 tons of garbage collected by uh, Sun and his co-workers per day. Um, per day. So I'm really glad to know that technology exists to um, at least dispose of this waste responsibly in the, the city Haiyan, if I'm saying it right, in China. Um, with this social climate lately and climate change in general, it's really hopeful that with more of this technology, a solution may be found. Um, Cutting edge stuff. So thank you for this doc. And uh, son is a hometown hero. I was moved by this. So it's an interesting 
and really optimistic story. Their goal is to make 50 more of these plants and change the climate and um, air quality of China in the next generation. I think that it's very possible and hopefully we can all learn from it because we may already be past the critical point, but it's always important to try to do something. So I hope it works. This was great because it's something that affects not just one community or one part of the world or anything like that. This, some, this is like a global issue. So anybody watching this um, can relate to it because this is, you know, something that is affecting our entire planet. Um, so I thought that that, especially how they did the entire beginning with just their um, shots, just the text, um, was really well done. Uh, it kind of set the tone of it being like such a, it set the size of the issue, I think, really well.